Hello folks. Well at my age of 72 I try to stay busy as I really feel it keeps a person healthy and keeps the brain going. So I'm always tinkering. As you can see from the following pictures I've tried some pretty wild stuff over the years. I typically don't just throw out ideas or inventions. I actually try to make them work if possible. Sometimes they were even picked up by some manufacturers and magazines like my retractable cameras or retractable landing gears on drones and helis, the tail rotorless helicopter I invented for Kyosho, the first electric tail rotor motor I invented for Ishimasa, my counter rotating machines, the two-wheel self-balancing machines that I built as toys when I was working at Kraft RC Systems 20 years before Segway was even invented, and my return to home rockets. Well now I'm experimenting with a sump pump for RC boats. Now this may not be new because it's so obvious, but just like my other videos, I do not search to see if someone else has done this, as I'm sure they have. I do not want to be biased by watching someone else's videos, as I want to make my own inventions, make my own trials and my own mistakes, and I always try to make honest reports. So knowing that water and electronics don't typically go together, and after having my own RC water vehicles all eventually damaged by water, especially my RC surfboard when I was running it in California in salt water, I decided to try to do something just for my equipment. When Tom was here, his radio got swamped and ruined in his rage boat. That also happened to me last year, so I had to change out my stuff. You know, although these rage boats only cost around 50 bucks, still I don't like to waste money and have anything go wrong. Some folks suggested I should put balloons around all the equipment. If you look inside at my electronics, you're going to see that would be pretty difficult, especially around a brushed motor. The servos, my Schottky diode, and dual battery setup or other stuff. I use the Kiwi waterproofing spray which actually keeps the water beating around the connectors and keeps light water from damaging it. But if submerged it may not be effective, but since I've been using it I've had no failures. So not one to take any more chances and so it seems that all big boats including my Sea Ray, they leak some and they have a sump pump installed. So I decided to see if I could actually find a small enough sump pump to put in this tiny speedboat. Well I did and I'm going to put a link in the description box in case just some of you might want to put one in your bigger scale boats. So here's how it went. Okay so we've got everything in there and we've got 0 0.10 pound. To do that you multiply that uh, the pound by 16 and that will give you the ounces. So that would be uh, 1 1.6 uh, ounces, you know, which is quite light. Okay, the battery holder that I got I'm using is for two AAA batteries and that's what I'm going to run the pump with. And uh, first thing I want to do is put the micro switch on the pump because I'm not going to mount it inside and to do that I'm going to use the professional grade Special T thick super glue from Satellite City and the NCF quick which when you spray it instantly dries the glue. So I'm going to mount this on here just like this. First thing I want to do is rough it up so there's no flashing from the plastic on this and a nice little rough thing there. Same thing with the switch. Rough this up a little bit so there's some Perfect. Okay, there was already a drain plug in the back of this boat for draining water, so they know they got water in it. And even though there's a really nice rubber seal around this thing, it still leaked. Why I'm putting this sump pump in here. So what I did was I 
force fed this piece of silicone tubing in here and as you can see I have mounted it to the pump and I'm going to mount the pump right here in the back at the lowest point just like in my big boat and uh, I'm going to put the battery pack and everything right in here. First I'm going to solder the wires together and then I will have that all set up and we'll see how it works. No, I am a strong proponent of Amazing Goop. I introduced it many years ago to a lot of people. This is just as amazing as the Super T from Satellite City, the Super Glue. I'm going to glue the sump pump motor in with it right down in here and also the battery pack that way it can be removed this is liquid rubber basically and uh, when it dries it's extremely strong and flexible if you take one of these sponges like this and I'm going to stick that up in there just like that. That keeps the water, any water that gets in there gets absorbed into that sponge and keeps it from sloshing around. So that's another thing. And then I've got the second battery which goes right in here like this. There's the uh, sump pump motor right there. The switch. Two AAA batteries. There's the Schottky diode power battery sponge is right here power switch speed controller that's a lemon receiver and back in here is the servo and all of it has been sprayed with the kiwi spray which makes the water beat up around everything it doesn't short out Unless you use salt water, maybe, I don't know. But uh, all set here. That's the right servo. Pour some water in here. Look at this. Pumping it right out of there. Since the boat is usually at an angle, that's pretty good. Any additional water that's not in there goes up to the front, gets absorbed by the sponge, and we've got a dry machine. Now if you don't have a sponge like this, you could take a paper towel and stick up in there. It's like that. That will also catch the water and keep it from sloshing around. That's the whole main reason of doing this. Of course, any boat, buddy that has a boat knows you're never going to get the sump pump to get every drop of water out. But anything that runs forward or sloshes around will go right here into this paper towel, which easily can be pulled out. And as you can see, everything is totally dry. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to put the ceramic coating on from Adams. Now if you never use ceramic coating you'd be quite surprised at how amazing this stuff really is. You can find more out about it at uh, AdamsPolishes.com but this stuff is uh, approved and used by Bear Jackson and many others and I put it on my full size boat and I'm going to go ahead and put it on this RC boat because it really makes water bead like crazy. It puts a super smooth finish on it and it can't hurt so I'm going to just show you how to do that real quick. First you want to clean everything with the coating prep. This takes all the oil and wax or anything else on the boat off. And take the ceramic coating and spray it onto a microfiber sponge or something similar and wipe it all over the whole surface.
You want to then let it dry about two minutes to get a like a little haze. Well then now that it's dried and it's got a little bit of a like a oily looking haze on there I'm going to use the double soft microfiber towel from Adams and just buff this all nice and smooth and uh, get that shine on there. When you're all done you want to let it sit for about four hours and this goes for whether you're putting it on vinyl on your car or the paint on your car or anything. Just showing you how the water beads on this stuff. It all will just run right off. Amazing. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into here. And plug this one. Into here. And I'm going to turn this on. Here. And I'm going to turn on my sump pump. And I hear it running. So let's just go ahead and take it out for a little spin. See how it does. Well this is a brushed motor and may not be the fastest RC model but it sure as heck is fun and with the two batteries it'll run over 20 minutes so I can go a long time. Alright, see if I can maneuver this in here without getting a lot of seaweed. <laughs> okay. Open it up. What do we got? Not a drop. Pump's still running. Everything is good. Let's go ahead and shut that off. And of course I have the paper towel up here. In fact, that's not even wet. So, all did a really good job. There's the pump. Okay, just for fun, a $50 boat. And who knows, you know. I think it's time to put one of these sump pumps in Tom's boat because as you saw when we were out on the lake, his receiver was ruined from the water. And of course if it sounds stupid but it works, it ain't stupid.